Gareth Edwards' film The Creator is a visually stunning sci-fi film that presents the audience with some thought-provoking moral questions. The Creator takes place in a future that has seen the development of advanced artificial intelligence, to the point where machines have become self-aware. Through the use of an informative and creative montage at the beginning of the movie, we learn how mankind came to depend on AI to assist with every aspect of daily life. At some point, the AI appears to turn on humanity and carries out an unprovoked attack on the city of Los Angeles. This causes the West to declare an all-out war on AI and the robots, or simulants as they are called in the movie. The key to determining which side will be victorious appears to be a simulant in the form of a young girl with the power over machines and technology. This movie was a breath of fresh air. The story is interesting and feels plausible, especially with the rapid rate of advancement in AI over the last several years. It also presents an interesting question. What does it mean to be alive? If a machine becomes self-aware, does it have the same rights to exist as a human being? They're not people, Maya. The visuals and effects in this movie were quite impressive. It never felt as though everything was just being filmed in front of a green screen. The locations felt real and full of life. The special effects were very detailed and well animated. I dare say that they were far superior to anything that Disney Marvel or Warner Brothers DC have released recently. That's very telling considering this summer's The Flash movie had a budget of easily three times that of the creator. $80 million versus well over $220 million. Despite all the creator has going for it, with its story and good cast, the film is not without flaws. The film suffers from pacing issues, with some sections seeming to drag on, and at other points, especially towards the final act of the film, feeling rushed. A few plot points are weak, and certain things conveniently occur to move the plot forward. Many of the scenes take place in dark environments, which can make certain details difficult to make out. Also, many of the shots during action scenes were tight or close up. I would have liked to have seen more of the surrounding action. The music felt a bit off at certain points as well, with a couple of musical choices feeling like they weren't a good fit for the scene. Despite these issues, I still really enjoyed the movie. For fans of science fiction, I definitely give the creator a recommend. It evokes feelings of several classics such as Blade Runner, The Terminator, classic Star Wars, and even Apocalypse Now. But it is still very much unique. It's been a while since there's been a good old-fashioned science fiction film in theaters. I really do hope more people give the creator a chance. I'd give the movie a solid 7 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care.